Welcome to Nursing Prep Push Yourself in Nursing Preparation with Smart Way. The topic is Psychosocial Integrity. Which of the following goals would the healthcare provider identify as realistic for a patient with a substance abuse problem? Option A. Explore genetic anomalies associated with substance abuse. Option B. Identify situations that trigger a desire to use the substance. Option C. Use the substance only in moderation and in certain situations. Option D. Focus on how cravings can be eliminated by enhancing willpower. Right answer is. Option B. Identify situations that trigger a desire to use the substance. Most patients with the substance abuse problem will not be able to use the substance in moderation. The most realistic goal for a patient with a substance abuse problem is to avoid people, places, and events that can trigger substance use. Continued substance abuse is associated with a lack of effective coping skills rather than a lack of willpower. The healthcare provider is caring for a patient diagnosed with a mild cognitive impairment. Which of these would be the most effective intervention for this patient? Option A. Application of soft restraints. Option B. Frequent reorientation. Option C. Behavior modification. Option D. Relaxation therapy. Right answer is. Option B. Frequent reorientation. Frequent reorientation is the most effective intervention for a patient diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment. Behavior modification is an intervention aimed at changing undesirable behaviors. Restraints can increase agitation and should not be used unless absolutely necessary and only when certain criteria are met. When a client diagnosed with bipolar disorder returns from a church service and tells the nurse, God has chosen me for a special mission, the nurse understands that the client is displaying symptoms of Option A. Thought insertion Option B. Ideas of reference Option C. Hallucinations Option D. Impending suicide Right answer is Option B. Ideas of reference an idea of reference is the client's belief that everything that happens is somehow related to the client's destiny. In this example, the client interprets that the church sermon, along with all the songs and bulletins, are messages from God, intended only for the client. Ideas of reference are related to schizophrenia, delusional disorder, and the manic state of bipolar disorder. The pediatric nurse is caring for a 9-year-old girl with a known history of having been abused. Which therapeutic action should the nurse include in the child's care plan? Option A. Ensure that the care setting allows the child to redevelop trust. Option B. Encourage the child to identify potential abusive settings. Option C. Ask the child to call the nurse if the abuser visits the unit. Option D. Instruct the child on typical characteristics of abusers. Right answer is. Option A. Ensure that the care setting allows the child to redevelop trust. An abused child will require long-term support and therapy, starting with an environment of safety, security, and empathy. The nurse can model appropriate behavior while giving care. A patient is brought to the emergency department by a family member. The patient has been agitated for the past several hours and has alternated between grandiosity and expressing a desire to commit suicide. Upon examination, the patient is diaphoretic, hypertensive, and tachycardic. Intoxication with which of the following substances would contribute to these symptoms? Option A. Alcohol. Option B. Marijuana. Option C. Benzodiazepine. Option D. Methamphetamine. Right answer is. Option D. Methamphetamine. Methamphetamine intoxication causes a surge of adrenergic stimulation secondary to increased epinephrine and norepinephrine. Methamphetamine use and overdose can be life threatening. Physical signs are hypertension tachycardia and arrhythmia, 
which can lead to circulatory collapse. Hypothermia and seizures may occur. Behavior changes can include insomnia, anxiety, aggression, hallucinations, mood disturbances, and paranoia. A patient diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, AD, is demonstrating signs of impaired reasoning. The healthcare provider suspects an alteration in which area of the brain? Option A. Occipital lobe. Option B. Amygdala. Option C. Frontal lobe. Option D. Hippocampus. Right answer is. Option C. Frontal lobe. The frontal lobe controls responses from the rest of the central nervous system. It is responsible for emotion, behavior, intellect, and memory. Frontal lobe function will be involved if the patient is demonstrating signs of impaired reasoning. The occipital lobe regulates the comprehension of visual images and written words. The hippocampus is the center for learning and processing information into long-term memory. During a counseling session with a patient diagnosed with depression, the patient states, I know my husband doesn't love me anymore. Which response by the healthcare provider demonstrates therapeutic communication? Option A. You really should try not to dwell on something that probably isn't true. Option B. What happened to make you think your husband doesn't love you anymore? Option C. Let's talk about what you did to cause him to stop loving you. Option D. Try not to think about it too much because it will make your depression worse. Right answer is. Option B. What happened to make you think your husband doesn't love you anymore? Initially, the healthcare provider will want to communicate understanding of the situation. Therapeutic communication in this situation would consist of asking a question to explore the patient's perceptions and valuing the patient's feelings. When caring for a patient during an acute panic attack, which of the following actions by the healthcare provider is most appropriate? Option A. Use distraction techniques to change the patient's focus. Option B. Explore common phobias associated with panic attacks. Option C. Offer the patient reassurance of safety and security. Option D. Ask open-ended questions to encourage communication. Right answer is. Option C. Offer the patient reassurance of safety and security. During a panic attack, the patient is experiencing intense apprehension and fear. There are often physical symptoms such as chest pain, palpitations, and trembling. During the panic attack, the patient's focus is on the distressing physical symptoms caused by the anxiety. Distraction techniques, open-ended questioning, or exploration of phobias will not be helpful during an acute attack. A young man with newly diagnosed human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, asks the nurse if he's ready for hospice care. How should the nurse respond? Option A. You have about three years before you need to worry about hospice care. Option B. Hospice care is only available for cancer patients and their families. Option C. Hospice care is intended for people who will die in a few weeks or months. Option D. Every person with HIV can request hospice services at any time. Are you ready? Right answer is. Option C. Hospice care is intended for people who will die in a few weeks or months. Hospice care is a special service for clients and families when life expectancy is just a few weeks or months. According to HIV, good HIV plus people who do not receive antiretroviral therapy, ART, can progress to AIDS in about three years. With that, clients with HIV can live for decades without progressing to AIDS. Which of the following alterations in sensory function is normal for an elderly client? Option A. Increased ability to taste spice. Option B. Decreased chronic pain perception. Option C. Increased sound discrimination. Option D. Decreased sensitivity to bright light. Right answer is. Option B. 
decreased chronic pain perception. As people age, perception and reporting of chronic 